My name's Andy Smith. I'm from Edwards Apple Orchard in Northern Illinois. Uh, we do uh, farm market uh, with diversified crops. I'm third generation uh, grower on this farm. Uh, we've been open to the public for 51 years now. Uh, my grandpa started the orchard and uh, or opened the orchard in 1964. So we grow uh, 17 different varieties and uh, for us that's really to get us through the season. We pick everything uh, fresh and it's only available as long as it's uh, in peak production. Uh, so we don't have any sort of CA storage or anything. It's all refrigerated and it's from tree to market. Like a lot of other orchards, uh, our most popular apple is Honeycrisp. Uh, so we do Honeycrisp uh, primarily on Bud 9 and that's a huge success for us. Um, uh, we John Gold's Goldens Red Delicious are super popular, especially with our Pick Your Own operation. And uh, we're trying out some new varieties uh, like Evercrisp, Pixie Crunch, and uh, Liberty that we don't really uh, know exactly what they're going to do for us yet, but we're really excited for the possibilities. Our season definitely comes in waves. Uh, we start off really fast. A lot of people are excited about fall, especially if we have cool weather at the beginning of fall. Um, we have a lot of people coming out right away. You're working extremely long hours, 17 hours a day. Um, uh, six or seven days a week um, in the market to make sure everything is just perfect for all of the guests that we have coming. Some challenges uh, would be really just morale. Um, keeping up morale, keeping a positive attitude. For us as a family business it's just as important to get along with each other and uh, have a great relationship and work well together as it is for us to uh, you know, display a positive attitude to our guests. I think a really important part of our business, obviously, is the way we market our apples. If you grow really great fruit and you have uh, wonderful growing practices, but you can't get it out the door, it's worthless. So uh, something we do is uh, really simply we sample our apples. We give samples of apples to everyone that comes in the door. And that um, you have to be really honest and know that you have good fruit. And with people trying that, they can uh, tell that you have the best offer. That was really crappy. That was pretty crappy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with the with the horticulture, um, I just kind of dove in head first and and learned as I w and learned as I went along. Um, there's there's a ton of stuff to learn, and I'm I'm still doing the best I can to keep educated on um, new growing systems or new rootstocks or new varieties, um, and trying to find the best way um, to grow our orchard and to grow it in a way that suits us, as well as uh, caters to all of the people we have coming to visit us. Uh, one of the most important things is absolutely to know your market. Good. And uh, whether you're wholesaling or doing a retail operation, uh, to know your market, to know um, the proper things to grow, how much and when is uh, one of the most important things that, uh, that we can do on the orchard. Finding ways to get your product out there, whether it's uh, farm markets or, or fruit stands or setting up a picnic table by the side of the road. Uh, that's actually how um, our orchard started with my mom and her brothers and sisters selling apples on the side of the road on a picnic table. Um, so I think that's a tremendous lesson um, you, that you need to start small and, and know your market and uh, keep growing as much as you can and, and uh, continue to learn about this uh, amazing industry and, and try to thrive.